Yep, yep. Yeah, you all right there, boy?
Time to go, boy. Yep. Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did. <sighs> you saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want to rotten indoors.
I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Boy, you better stop that now. Thank you again for all your help. I think I need to be alone now. Stay here, boy. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Welcome back, Arthur.
Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. Thank you, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Ah! All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. That's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. 
Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa! What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> Who will find her before they put a bullet in her head. Are you going in there or not? She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, Get after them! Yeah. There! Straight ahead! I saw them go through those bushes! Oh, they're gonna pay! All of you! They're heading down the hill! To the water! Let's finish these scum! Oh, there they are! By the shoreline! Ah. Ah. You picked the ah. wrong girl!
good. We're coming for you, you bastards! Well, that was a beauty, Arthur. They're heading down the hill to the water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. One's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Come on! Get him, Arthur! Make sure we take him alive! One's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Don't let him get away! One's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Come on! Get him, Arthur! Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Don't let him get... Wait! You're making a big mistake! Now make sure you time up real good. I'll kill you. Are you going to time up then? Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm going to head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Let's move. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. She didn't tell me nothing. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You? Oh, yes. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar, damn coward. All right, all right, damn it. Around here. I want to get a good look at this monster. <laughs> so 
So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here. Okay. Leaving me, huh? Show. Sure. Yeah, we'll leave uh. this there. What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off of you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. 
We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Every time. You know, them's bad men. Sure. Been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horse sense. Hard to lose the war. <laughs> but it ain't none of you fuck, you silly bastards. Well, well, I ain't afraid of you, old Mr. Gray. Hello, you Mr. are your damn First pathetic time. bastard. Horse sir. brushes and medicine in the corner hey, over there. Go if you're the sort of who needs that kind of thing. Yelling.
find. What you looking for? A paper? Thank you for your business. Got you some other time. Get your newspapers here, folks. Ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. No, it was one for gossip. Jack Joe Mingle thought gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set How's up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. I ain't too sure. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. Do you call me a gossip? How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn... <laughs> No damn manner. This is what bounty hunting bastard. You're weak. You ain't the.
Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Let's go. <gasps> for you. Here it is. Walk over what you got to. Hasta aquí llegaste, cabrón. Ah! Ah, damn it. It's over. Ah! 